Hi everybody, we want to show you how to replace clutch on this 2011. I think it was like yeah, something paper. like something 2011. This is V8, the VF supercharged uh, Audi R8, but this procedure is exactly the same for V8 or V10. And we want to show you how to do, how to uh, replace clutch, how to adjust clutch, how to do all procedure by uh, Audis and this is official uh, Audi diagnostic tools. Let's start. The reason why we replace clutch, uh, this is supercharged V8 and our customer want to install V10 clutch for more for better for, for, for better clutch for more stronger clutch and this is only one reason and first what we what we start to do reassemble that body panels uh, airbox and spoiler and this area then we remove uh, wheel arches uh, fender liners and rear bumper with a tail light <laughs> Okay, uh, exhaust, sway bar is already out, we little bit clean this place. Now it's time to drain uh, engine oil and remove that reservoir and uh, we have to remove a power steering pump because it's not totally blocked, uh, the one bolt. But we, we need to completely drain engine oil from crankcase and from oil tank because oil tank we remove. And then we start work with the valve body and the, the pre pressure system. We need to remove a uh, whole unit for, uh, this, is, this is the reservoir and pressure pump, and then we remove valve body.
Okay. Uh, oil tank is already out. Uh, the one cover, axle cover from exhaust pipe is out. Uh, now it's a second one. And if you can see the uh, module with the uh, pressure reservoir, with the uh, pump, and everything's off. Everything is off. Each now, is it, now, yeah, now it's time to remove that shield. One more shield and starter. By the way, not forget disconnect the battery because this is this is a high power line over there. Yeah, not forget disconnect battery and then we remove this uh, Tiptronic module. It's a few bolt, the one pressure line for uh, clutch thrust bearings over there. Just like I think some 13 millimeter. And then completely remove that module, but I will show you. Okay, starter is out and axle, that bracket, uh, the protection bracket from exhaust to axle is out. Uh, power steering pump. You can closely look, it's a three bolt over there because that pump it's blocked this nut. And yeah, need remove, but before guys, I uh, need to drain engine oil from reservoir and doesn't matter, this is V10 or v V8 from some pump pan. Drain it oil, then when you remove, you don't have any leaks. That oil is have to be replaced. Okay, everything prepared before removal transmission. All eight bolt around is already out. We just uh, stripe the harness and we open. I don't know. It's like two, six, uh, these two, and that one for that module removal. That module on silicone just like little bit and one more uh, the pipe this is hose high pressure hose for clutch bearing and then ta -dum. just a gently remove and leave on a clean clean space and this is here is the pressure module accumulator pump and reservoir okay now I wanna lower it car and start to remove the transmission and I just forgot to mention about not forgot remove the sensor because easy to break the head of the sensor that sensor located over there like this area right here you can see my finger just the one Torx T30 nut remove it and you will be fine Okay. Two man crew, so sorry about this. Camera might be shaking a little bit. Okay, gooseneck is already set. Uh, our bolt is removed and just lift it up a little bit and gently push, 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 push. Okay, here we go. Everything has to be gently. Okay. Okay, gearbox is already out. If you guys notice something about this one, we try to make sure nothing goes inside. This is just something simple. 
that prevents stuff going yeah, inside the transmission. Yeah, any some shit or something, whatever. Because sometimes, what if you're doing something and falls over? Like, look at this. This falls over, goes inside of it. We don't notice it. It will destroy some it. Iron pieces. Okay, transmission is out. We move. We will be back and start to remove the clutch. Still not bad, but little bit worn. Okay. Now it's time for uh, clutch installation. Uh, flywheel is already there. All flywheel bolt uh, have to be. If you remove the flywheel and uh, you can install it, you need to install a new bolt, and that bolt have to be uh, locked tight with the blue thread lock because it's really important. Now it's time to install the clutch pack. It's nine bolt, and you, it, this is centric adjuster and that bolt uh, we used 8 newtons and then uh, 180 degree uh, torque specification <laughs> not forgot to install that starter ring because one time i forgot i installed it retorque it assembled it and try to crank but engine not not <laughs> fire up and not cranking Oops, like yes. and i understand about my fault but anyway let's install our bolt then Slightly, you do it like a cross, uh, slightly installation and pre tension that bolt, and then torque specification eight, uh, 8 Newton and 180 degree. Let's do it. <laughs> Восемь минут у нас.
One more time, make sure it's an eight. 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 And last one. Eight. Now we set up. 180 just to calibrate the torque range okay 180 degree exactly the same what this manual says let's make sure one more time 8 newton plus 180 degree and let's start the 180 degree Third. Okay, all clutch pack, all bolt, already retorque. Now it's time and adjust by central pin. Now it's time to installation transmission back and retorque uh, the transmission case bolt. Let's do it. I think we need a Oh no. 
all's done. Thank you. Thank you. Gearbox already in and all bolt retorque is have little small issue because like uh, sand creek immediately just uh, like hardly push inside and done. Uh, gearbox now time for sensor, crankshaft sensor installation and then we install the power steering pump, axle and then uh, unit, uh, artronic unit. I will show you and we need to clean that surface. <laughs> Okay, pump is already installed, sensor, starter, axle shaft, uh, uh, axle shaft, protection cover, a uh, little bit of harness and now it's time for installation Artronic module. Uh, first, you need to align uh, all forks in the middle one, it's like it's have a, this, this and middle one, and then it's need to align Artronic unit. Need a line. Now it's aligned clean this area and exactly same in uh, gearbox side. And then use it silicone to seal this one. And <laughs> okay. Oil tank is already installed, uh, the module, pressure module, pump, uh, accumulator and reservoir here, all pipe retorque, ha harnesses already installed too. Uh, gearbox cooling installed. Now it's time for exhaust installation and tail light, it's like start assembled body panels and then we can start uh, bleed that system. Uh, fill engine oil and fire up and uh, start calibrate and do adaptation and uh, learning tests. Well, almost, almost, almost done and prepared before start do performance and bleeding test. Uh, spoiler, uh, exhaust, we installed uh, performance exhaust uh, manifold, not sorry, manifold muffler and we just a little bit spend more time but it's already in uh, all pipe connected uh, reservoir oil uh, reservoir sorry uh, all piping connected we fill for first five liter of the engine oil this is for fire up and run some like 10-15 minutes and then we can fill all capacity but now I remove uh, mass sensors uh, from the air box and connect because I need uh, room for this, but I want to fire up now uh, First I feel the hydraulic fluid Hydraulic fluid clutch fluid. This is uh, Pentacin 11s green one and uh, Right here you can see the level uh, Let me move. This is level they have a mean and max mark order just uh, I feel by max and now, just to show you guys, is the plastic bottle. Yeah. yeah, this is plastic bottle. This is minimum, and right here it's maximum. There you go. Yeah, now it's uh, because we, we, we turn ignition on, now it's in the middle. But of course, we add it if you need more. Then I connect the bleeding reservoir to this uh, bleeder. Bleeder, yeah, and this is 8 millimeter, but I, I still not open. Already connect the power uh, box to the battery because we have to keep uh, voltage and we connect uh, all these diagnostic tools scanner to the car turn ignition on and we go into transmission then we go into guide function and we pick a uh, hydraulic system bleed then we, cho we choose that a hydraulic system bleed, push the button and the system and pump sta start pumping. And we open the bleeder screw for bleeding and uh, for remove the bubble. And then we close and after that we fire up and go into performance test. But I will show to you. Let's start the bleeding. Here we go. Choosing the hydraulic test, perform. Boom. 
Yeah, now it's here. Yeah. And here we go. And now. One more. Mm -hmm. See, we are prepared. Okay. Collection five minutes. And now we start slowly open the screw. You can see the bubble going in. Right here. You can't see, but they gotta touch this. Oh, no. There we go. There we go. You can see the bubbles. the bars pressure in it okay now we close the screw we suck fluid because we the vacuum is still on and let's go check the fluid level let's go check the fluid level yeah now it's a fluid level at minimum uh, I probably recommend it. It's, it's possible to see, right? Yeah, it's hard yeah. to see, but yeah. Yeah, this is the minimum. I want to add it fluid on a uh, middle one between minimum and maximum. Why? Because now it's a system pressurized, but if the car is sitting two, three, four, five days, the system is discharged by itself because this is 50 bar and all power uh sorry uh, uh pressure. The, the pressure inside the accumulator and after system depressurized by itself the fluid returned to reservoir and if you fill to maximum level it's overfill and start throw up i recommend it to you keep the middle level let's do it okay let's fire up for short time just for uh, first and then we added more engine oil We are good uh, turn off we added a little bit engine oil to adjust the level uh, why is that car fire up first time because guys that car is supercharged this is tuned and this is this is normal it's nothing difficult uh, uh, sorry not, nothing dangerous for cold start sometime like this now we need to adjust engine oil then fire up little bit warm-up car and go into another perform test <laughs> Okay, we added engine oil, adjust the level, now we shut down and turn ignition off. Turn ignition on and uh, turn on the booster, the charger, on uh, programming mode. Then, we go into transmission, pick the guide function. And we have a basic setting for clutch. Pick a basic setting clutch, perform. This test can follow in step to will be performed. Clutch slipping point. Removing and install clutch, replacing transmission. And a few other things. Okay. Hydraulic system. Okay. No gear shoulder engages, blah, 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 blah. Neutral position. Car at neutral. The basic setting in channel, uh, channel number one required. Engine coolant temperature over not more than 70 degrees Celsius. Switch ignition on, apply parking brake. Apply the brake during the complete basic setting. This is what I want to do. I open the door. E-brake, 
and step on the brake. Continue. Start the engine. Mm -hmm. Place the selector level into neutral. Depress brake pedal. Depress brake pedal. Depress brake pedal. And now. transmission initial uh, keys point this is mean uh, catch uh, clutch catching and they measure that distance because we install new clutch see catch rpm this is engine speed and this is transmission input shaft the catch release catch release let's wait this is basic setting, maybe take the 10 minutes. See, one more time. Catch, release. Catch, release. Done. We ask about engage your gear. Switch ignition off. The clutch adaptation was successful. And this is why it's off. This is time. Now it's ignition on. Done. Everything done. Uh, the performance test is done. And we just push the complete. This is old slip point for 15 units, new slip point 350. Uh, continue complete. Clutch where index can be reset at default value. They ask, was the clutch transmission control module being replaced? No. Clutch slip point, end of the test. Clutch slip point, close where index. Clutch slip, this, this clutch adaptation was successful complete. We pick complete continue. We are done. Now it's guys, uh, we would like to assemble everything back and then we go into test drive. Uh, we will show you uh, how it's clutch catching. This is like most important for uh, uh, second gear, gear and reverse. The final voyage. Yeah, now it's time to test drive. And we slowly, slowly, because we need a few time, gently uh, start and stop and start again, check how it's smooth uh, clutch catching.